Now I'm dizzy. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on rotating images and videos in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get our rotation on. I have some pictures and some video clips that can't get right. They are wrong and they just can't get right. So I need to fix them up by rotating them. First, let's talk about how we can permanently rotate an image or picture. If we know that we'll always want a picture to be rotated to a certain way or a certain position, we can apply the rotation while the clip is in the library and then it will remain that way every time we access that picture or we pull that image down into the timeline. So as an example, let's go ahead and bring this picture into the timeline. Right now we can see that it is upside down. Can't get right, okay? And we may want this to always be right side up. So let's go ahead and remove this from the timeline. So it's already selected. So I'm just gonna click on the trash bin to delete it. And now what I wanna do is access it from the library to permanently rotate this picture. So I'm going to right click on it while it's in the library. And I'm gonna to go to open in corrections. So on the bottom left hand side here, you'll see that we have a few tools here. We have rotate left and then we have rotate right. Now, if you bring a video clip in and right click it and do open in corrections, you will not have these rotation options. It only applies to images or pictures. So what I'm gonna do is use this to rotate this. Let's go to the left and one more time to the left. And now it is right side up. So now that it is facing the correct way and it's, or it's rotated to the correct position, I'm gonna click on okay. And so if I click on this, you'll see in the source, in the preview, it's already right side up now. And that's in the library, it's not even in the timeline. But we saw before that when I dragged things into the timeline, they were upside down. So let's go ahead and drag this into the timeline now. And you'll see that it is right side up. And it also has the little green line at the top, which means that a correction is applied to this image. Let's say, I decided that, hey, you know what? I need this to be upside down and I always want it to be upside down forevermore. I want it to go back to the way it was originally. Let's go ahead and delete this clip from the timeline again. If I go back to the clip while it's in the library, I can right click on it. And now I can choose revert to original. And when I do that, it is upside down again. And you can see here in the source that it's upside down. And now if I drag it down to the timeline, it is upside down once again. And the green correction line is no longer near the top of that clip. So that's how you go ahead and permanently rotate a picture or an image using the library. And I also showed you how to revert it back to its original rotation. Now let's talk about how we can temporarily rotate an image or a video. So I'm gonna go here to this open tab that I have, and I'm going to drag this clip, this is a video clip, and I'm gonna drag it down into the timeline. Now you can see that this video clip is sideways. So we can apply a simple rotation to it by right clicking on it, Going to rotation. And then I'm gonna pick rotate left. 
and now it is oriented correctly. Now I'm going to do control Z to undo that. And now I'm going to show you another way to rotate it. If you want to, you can left click on the clip so it's selected and then go up here to editor. After you click on that, you'll see a section here for rotation and you can use the slider to rotate it or you can type in the value that you want. I'm just going to type in 90 and hit enter and it went ahead and rotated it to the proper orientation once again. Now you may be able to see that what's happening when you rotate this is that we're losing some of the image. Like there was a picture frame showing at the top of this and some other stuff down below that. So basically rotating this, we're losing some of the image. If we want to bring all of the image back in and you want to be able to see everything that was originally in the frame, you can go here to size and you can use your sliders to bring the size down until everything is back in frame. Let's go ahead and do control Z again. You can go over here to your PIP selections and you can choose scale mode. Once you choose scale mode, you can go ahead and hold your cursor over the picture until you see a little hand, hold down your left mouse and you can drag this until you see the nodes. Place your cursor over one of the nodes so that it shows a diagonal line with two arrows on it. And now you can size this down and you can use the hand to move it where you want to move it. And once you have it where you want it, should be good to go. If you notice that the position is not in the middle of the screen, you could just hit zero for the horizontal and the vertical, and it'll put it back in the middle of the screen for you. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on library. So that's how you do the temporary rotation. And now that we're done, I'd like to welcome you to the wonderful world of rotation. Enjoy. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I wanna send a shout out to one of our subscribers, D Try This. D Try This makes product review videos on his YouTube channel. So, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys wanna get a shout out like D Try This did, then head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial that you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just wanna talk or chop it up, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.